Okay, so uh, he was in partnership with the Ministry of Women's Affairs, Youth and Women and Youth Affairs are holding a 50-50 advocacy, advocacy campaign uh, and they were launching a women's manifesto. So they were talking about, uh, there have been various presentations that were talking about the importance of women knowing their rights. And with me here is Isabella Matambanazo, who is a women's rights activist. And early on, to, uh, early on this morning, she was speaking about uh, Section 17, which talks about gender equality and the rights that women have. And just going to have a conversation with her around that area. Hi, Isabella. Hello, Mona. How are you? Good, thank you. All right, so like I did say earlier, you were talking about uh, Section 17 of the Zimbabwean Constitution, which talks about gender equality and the rights that women have. Mm -hmm. And earlier on, uh, the Speaker of Parliament, Advocate Jacob Mudenda, spoke about how women in the rural areas are a bit marginalized and they don't really quite know what their rights are. So as a as an activist, how do you think it's best to educate the women that are in remote areas that don't have as much access as we do? Well, actually, if you look at our constitution, Mona, in terms of section 17 and section 56, it is the duty of our government to use all measures available to educate and raise awareness amongst all women across the country about our rights in the constitution. So that is the first tier of duty bearership. It belongs to our government. Um, we can do some work as activists, but really our government is required to raise awareness about gender equality and women's rights. I think what's also important is that at today's discussion, we've been talking about the role that political parties must play. Uh -huh. And we discussed this morning that political parties are required to align their political party constitutions with the constitution of the country, which in section 17 says that it is important to promote full gender balance in Zimbabwe in all areas of our society. And also another a part of the presentation uh, by the Speaker of Parliament that I found very interesting is how we quoted section 167. We said that if the parliament, if the government do, do not uphold their duties, they can be sued. Like, we can actually sue them for doing that. Do you think we can, uh, do you ever see women going that route, seeing as if they are right and they are not advocated for properly? Well, now, in terms of the 2013 constitution, we have certain institutions that we can approach to file a complaint. So, for instance, the Human Rights Commission and the Gender Commission to say that our government is not complying with our constitution and we want to raise this as a formal complaint. So you are actually right. There is grounds for litigation on the grounds of gender inequality and the failure of the government to promote equality of men and women on an equal basis. All right, thank you so much. That was Isabella um, Matambanazo, a gender rights activist. And that's the, those are some of the discussions we're having here, patients.